Everyone, I'm getting ready to go vote, and I want to tell you a verse that I just read. It's a proverb, and it says, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. Several years ago, I went to Vancouver. It's where my husband is from in that general area, and I went to the aquarium there. And I learned something interesting about filter feeding animals, like uh, baleen whales and whale sharks, that they're um, filter feeding animals. So what that means is they open their mouth really wide and they take in a ton of water in their environment. And in the water are all these nutrients that they need and the filter catches them and then spits out the water that it doesn't need. And that's how they eat and that's how they stay nourished. But what I learned is that there are now a ton of microplastics in the water and the filter when they open their mouth to absorb their nutrients also catches the microplastics which over time gives them disease and is essentially like poison to these filter feeding animals. I, if you are like me, feel a little bit like staying educated in today's day and age is a little bit like being a baleen whale or baleen whale I think is how they say it in that you open your mouth to learn about current events and you're taking in things you need to know to nourish your mind, but you also end up taking in little mini micro hatreds, um, negativity. Um, and by that, I mean any thought that makes you hate another human being, make a, hate another group of human beings. Um, and usually this hatred is at a little bit of a distance because um, it's hard to hate up close. But then that hating at a distance starts to poison the people that we feel close to if we disagree with them and it shapes the way that we view them. And over the season, I think we have experienced a ton of microplastics like in our bodies, micro negativity. And now we have it in us. Today we got to vote and I imagine in the weeks to follow, there's gonna be a lot of mean, harmful words of hatred that are going to be filling the airwaves and they're going to be filling our eyes, what we see, what we hear. And then inevitably, once it goes into us, it has to find a way out. And so we speak it. So what happens with all these pollutants inside of us, regardless of the outcome? The verse said that hatred stirs up strife within us, but love covers all sins. Jesus, one of the pinnacle points that he makes one of the most revolutionary thoughts is that you love your enemies as yourself. To me, what that means is that when I look at myself and all the ways that I have been wrong, all the ways that I have been um, selfish, all the ways that I have been power thirsty, um, the ways I've neglected people in need, Jesus has brought me forgiveness for that and for grace. And that same grace that I've received, that perfect love through Jesus, is what empowers me to love my enemy. It's not a platitude. It is an awareness of my own limitations and my own failings as a human. And out of that weakness, out of that deep awareness of my own fallen nature, my own broken way of being, is that is what enables me to love my enemy. Because I know that Jesus on the cross, his love has forgiven me for my sin. So as we are opening our mouth and inhaling all the context around us, both the good and the bad, that um, negativity that we absorb into us can be converted into love when we lean into the forgiving love of Jesus.